kind of nice in there. Really? I never met someone who understood. It's... Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before, too. AJ. You've killed someone? But I was justified. I see. <sighs> That's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. James, the walker in the barn, the one with the different eyes, what was his name? His name? What do you... How about the woman in the back, near the wind chimes? What's her name? I... I don't know. Asim. Omar. Violet. Those are the names of my friends, the ones who were stolen by the raiders. I'll never forget that. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. There might be people inside walkers. Did you mean it? Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. <sighs> Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. <sighs> it sounds weird. But if you believe it, I do too. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. I've never met anyone like James before. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. <laughs> what the hell is a hoot nanny? <laughs> it's just another way of saying party. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. 
This could be her last chance. Mm. I wouldn't make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, the decor... Decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. And usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him too. I think there's something wrong with me. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. Am I good? I wish what we did felt good. Part of me wants to like it. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay. What are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah. The older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. <laughs> That's not happening. You don't know that. No, I don't. But it won't happen anytime soon. You don't know that either. You're just trying to be brave for me. <sighs> it does something weird to my stomach. Like I'm gonna get the dookies. <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Run away as fast as... No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised... I don't care. I'm not leaving you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I don't want to be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it. So much. But... Don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> you can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? 
Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. Hey, little man. Hi, Louis. I'm going on patrol. So, patrolling's a thing? Mm-hmm. Patrolling's a thing. I was wondering... Well, I can't help but thinking... You shot that raider who grabbed me, but you saw them take Violet, too. Which means... You could have saved Violet and not me. Why? Why would you pick me? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have picked me. Hell, I don't know anyone who would have picked me. I couldn't let them take you. You're too important to me. I know I'm always teasing her, trying to get her to do that one eye roll she does, you know the one, where it's like, you're such a dumbass, she has to do a full body eye roll. I do it because when I actually do manage to make her laugh, it's worth it. If I needed her, she'd be there. Meet Cleaver in hand, ready to chop someone in half if it meant protecting me. Hey, we're going to get them back, Louis. Yeah, damn right we will. Actually, um, that's... <laughs> that's not the only reason I dropped by. Ruby's whole party idea kind of made me realize something. What are you doing? Well, I figured since we might die tomorrow and never get to go on a real date, I thought we could. Damn it. Have one now. I promise I'll keep it short so we can finish getting things ready for tomorrow. <laughs> but I mean, nothing's wrong with short and sweet, right? Wait, that's not, I forget I said that. What about the party? Ruby seemed pretty excited. All right. I can take a hint. So, I'll see you over there? Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow, where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up, and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <laughs> I should start heading back to the admin building. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> back! <laughs> You're terrible. Hey! I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. <laughs> 